नमस्ते ब्रीद योर वे टू आनंद विथ स्वतंत्र आनंद एक्सटसी ब्लिस जॉय ब्रीद योर वे टू आनंद टू ब्लिस टू एक्सटसी विथ स्वतंत्र स्वतंत्र इज अ सिस्टम ऑफ ब्रेथ वर्क सिस्टम ऑफ ब्रीदिंग एक्सरसाइज इफ यू लाइक विच इंड्यूस आनंद इट मेक्स द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ आनंद एक्सेसिबल लाइक दिस इजली द पावर ऑफ ब्रेथ इज रेयरली अंडरस्टूड एंड इवन मोर रेयरली ट्रूली अप्रिशिएटेड अनफॉर्चुनेटली therefore most plod through life unable to take advantage of one of the most powerful and potent instruments of health wellness joy fulfillment and an elevator that can help raise them to their highest potential they can take advantage of it yes breath is also like an elevator that can raise one to one's highest levels of consciousness remember the seven major chakras in the body most of the time most of us are stuck in one of the lower chakras and we do not know how to move up so therefore most of us are concerned or stuck with issues related to survival somehow making ends meet stuck in little unpleasantness jealousies guilt fear etc all these are signs of being stuck in one of the lower chakras so what is consciousness consciousness in a sense is the ability to know it's born from an awareness of one's surroundings one's self and the relationship between the self and the surroundings that which is within and that which is without this awareness is consciousness consciousness at the highest level is what we call shiva so shiva is universal consciousness however there are many intervening levels of consciousness slow small low and so on in one of the uh, articles uh, by one of the scientific journals etc there is a description of consciousness and i have added that in the Uh, descriptions here so uh, i will not read it here i will not talk about it here but you will be able to access it but suffice it to say that they talk of different levels of consciousness and so on lethargy stupor coma optundation <laughs> whatever that means that word optundation uh, and so on these are all different kinds of levels of consciousness of course there's a confusional state and the cloudiness and so on and so forth but that's not where we are focused at the moment that's only to pique your interest just to get you interested in different kinds of levels of interest of consciousness consciousness exists universally in all living and maybe in non living things we don't know but definitely in all living things plants animals creatures life forms etc bacteria viruses there is a certain amount of consciousness everywhere however the potential to raise one's consciousness willfully seems available only to human beings it's only human beings who can actually raise their consciousness with conscious effort with the willful effort by doing something on their own interestingly this the estimated seven major and actually 114 chakras in all according to our rishis saints those who really understand this there are 114 chakras in all they represent different levels of consciousness think of them as hard drives in a computer think of them as hard drives luckily for humans they have they have been built into the system the seven levels of chakra muladhar swadhisthan manipura anahata vishuddhi agya sahasra different levels of consciousness they are available to us within our system if we are able to access them just like the hard drives in a computer think of them as hard drives luckily for humans they have been built into the system by nature life god maker whatever you wish to call it each time we access a higher chakra we have potentially raised our consciousness however 
even when we raise our consciousness, there is no guarantee to stay there. Because we get caught up in different things, different emotions, different feelings and karmic connections and so on. That pulls us back down. However, since we are not usually mindful of our actions, activities, choices, emotions, the access to higher levels of consciousness may be lost. The path to the higher and lower levels of consciousness is via the sushumna that runs along the spine. It touches all the major chakras, that means at least the seven major chakras and brings energy or energizes these chakras. So it's like a hard drive. When energy reaches these hard drives, the files in those drives are accessible. When the, when the files open, we whatever is there comes to the surface. In our case, there, are, there can be karmic memory, there can be emotions, desires, all kinds of earlier energy that's stored in, in these areas and they need to be dealt with. And how do they need to be dealt with? They need to be dealt with through conscious effort. When this comes up, we need to bring our attention to them, work on them, work with them so that the main lessons, important aspects are internalized and then we can actually delete these files or these hard drives. Not the hard drives, but the files. The path to higher and lower levels of consciousness through the Sushumna. That's a nadi located along the, along the spinal column. Now think of each of these drives as, of consciousness as being available to all. To access them, one must create conditions in the Sushumna so that the movement of energy or Shakti is easy, unhindered and smooth. Past memories, karmic energy comprising of all that we have desired, done, wished for, etc. is stored in these chakras. Each time energy comes to these drives, they are activated and the files there are opened. Once these files are opened, we need to process them. If we keep them, they will continue to drain energy. They will continue to bring us back to those things and ask for your repeated attention. So ideally, we should understand what these files are, why we stored them, what we need to glean from them, learn from them, and then delete them. When we learnt our lessons, they automatically get deleted. But sometimes it could need a few repeated, repeated uh, looks, experiences. In forgiving, so, so remember, these are deleted automatically when we uh, let go of those desires, memories, emotions, etc. See the power of forgive and forget. In forgiving and forgetting, we don't do others a favor. It's not like if we forgive and forget something, we are doing anyone a favor. We actually merely free ourselves. We delete unnecessary files from our system so that the energy can be used to rise to a higher level of consciousness. Each time we go to a higher level of consciousness and a still higher level of consciousness, we are reaching our highest potential. Shakti is always interested in reaching her Shiva. All we need to do is get out of her way. That means we need to reduce the role of the ego. All these you know, base emotions, etc. These are all manifestations of the ego. The ego, mind, emotions. It's a trio. They always work together. So all we need to do is get out of the way. That means we need to reduce the role of the ego, which is basically a low level consciousness. Simple. As we continue with the process of reducing the role of the lower levels of consciousness and conserving our energy, it becomes available in greater quantity, ease and intensity to move higher. In essence, that's what a human being needs to do, to move higher towards his highest potential. Breath, which brings and distributes energy throughout the system via the major chakras, can be used as the most powerful way to cleanse the sushumna, widen it, and help it move, help it move energy up the sushumna, up the, towards the highest chakras. Join Swatantra, a very targeted and exclusive breathwork program with a high entry barrier, unfortunately, to help you learn ways to cleanse the Sushumna fast, widen it and then to activate the chakras. In the process, you will learn how to access and enhance your sexual energy 
and then to transform it into something much more creative as it rises to higher chakras. You will also learn practices that will supercharge your pranayam, pranamaya kosh, your energy body. The energy body which will help you build a direct bridge to your vijnanamaya kosh. Vijnanamaya kosh is your knowledge body. That part of you which just knows things. So it becomes accessible to insights and knowledge. Vijnanamaya kosh helps us to receive insights and to simply know a lot more than we are accustomed to. The next step to Ananda my Kosh will also come within your grasp within weeks. At least you will begin to see glimpses of it and experience it relatively easily. To experience Ananda at will is probably the highest goal of human endeavor. And this is what becomes accessible to you through the Swatantra course. Do join and take advantage. Namaste.